Happy New Year! Hey y'all, welcome back to Brown Tab B School in 2023. As always, I am Alex and today we are going to jump in with a tip to fill your books this year. Happy New Year! I hope you guys had a amazing holiday season. I am so excited that the first YouTube video of 2023 landed on January 2nd so, so I can I get at you guys early and share a business kickstart tip. This is not a new tip. I have talked about this before, but I believe it is so important and so big for filling your books, for getting booked out, that I am going to share it again. And trust me, the redundancy of it isn't lost on me. Follow up, get it? I'm following up on the follow up tip. Seriously though, follow the fuck up. People are busy and as much as we'd like to think it, eyebrows are not everybody's priority. Shocker, right? So we need to follow up and trust me, you are not being annoying. Most people are going to appreciate the follow up. This tip is actually valid for any industry, any business that deals with a client or customer, which if you think about it is all businesses. When should you be following up? There are three main times to be following up with your client. One, after an inquiry without them booking. Two, after their appointment to check in on their brows and to get a review. Three, to book their yearly touch-up appointment. So number one, following up with a client after they have reached out to you, but they haven't booked. You don't need to write this client off. Like I said, people get busy. Slide back in their texts, their DMs, follow up with them. Just say, hey, checking back in. I am booking from this day forward. Did you still want to book whatever service they were interested in? Put the ball in their court and remind them that they were interested in you and your services. Number two, follow up after an appointment. Get that review. Our businesses grow by attracting new clients. And one of the best ways to attract new clients is to have five-star raving reviews about your business. Potential clients want to see that other people just like them went to you and loved their results. So check back in. I like to do this about six weeks after their either initial appointment or their touch-up, yearly touch-up appointment. Ask them how their brows have healed and ask them to leave you a review. Make it super simple for them. Send them that direct link so they can click it and write out a review right there. Stay till the end of the video. I will show you my workflow for following up and asking for reviews and booking in yearly touch-ups. Number three is book that client back in. Get the lifetime value out of your client. Keep their brows blinking for us. A year, a year and a half, two years can go by really quickly for clients, especially when they're not noticing that their brows are starting to fade. So pop back in their lives with a message Hey, it's been however long since their appointment. How are your brows doing? Are you ready for a touch up? Let me know and we can book you in. With this is to wait long enough so that clients are ready for their touch up. Remember, we don't want to oversaturate the skin and to check back in and stay on top of your follow up list. As promised, check out my workflow for following up with clients workflow for following up with clients. Let's start with following up with clients to get a review. I have my follow-up spreadsheet saved in a Google Drive for easy access. You can download a template of this spreadsheet for free in B-School. I will put the link in the caption. I scroll through my spreadsheet to my most recent clients. I like to do my review request follow-ups about six weeks out from their enhancement session or their yearly touch-up. You can see that Karen came on November 16th and her yearly follow-up date will be September 23rd, but her review request follow-up date is January 9th. So next Monday, I will be sending her a review request, and this is how I do it. I keep the typed out script in my notes on my phone for easy access. Go in, copy and paste it into a text message, add the client's name for personalization, and send it off. Now let's check out my workflow for following up with clients for their yearly touch-ups. So same thing, I go back into my Google Drive and find the corresponding follow-up month. I do yearly touch-up follow-ups monthly and about 10 to 11 months 
out from their last appointment or their initial session. I also keep this script saved in my notes on my phone for easy access. So I will go in, copy and paste it into a text message or however the last we communicated, whether that was a text, a DM or an email. I'll add the client's name for customization and you can also add the date of their last appointment if you like and then send that off. Don't forget to snag the free B-School follow-up spreadsheet. I will put the link in the caption. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so you never miss out. If you want more information on beauty, business, education, check out Browtab B-School online education platform. I'll put the link for that in the caption as well. See you next Monday.